What is going on? Boys, we are back on the R3. I bet you fucking didn't see this coming. I didn't see it coming. Today is my first day back in short on this thing. Let's, let's run back a little bit. The bike has been up for sale and I've had quite a bit of interest on it, uh, but no one's actually come to pick it up. No one's paid cash to come pick it up. It's been sat still not doing anything and I've obviously kept it going, oil, put oil in it, started it up, blah, blah, blah. Kept it nice and clean. Uh, well, clean as in maintenance clean, I didn't clean it. And yeah, haven't ridden it in, pro I haven't ridden it in probably about two months. Then, unfortunately, my mate had a, an accident on his bike, was hit off by a deer, um, and he was in the process of uh, fixing his bike and he needed a bike to, um, to to use basically and I said mate you're more than free you're more than welcome to take the R3 out uh, you know it, it needs a good run and uh, so that's that's that's, that's been that he's, he's had it for the past two weeks and uh, and seeing it is leave my house and uh, get ridden and listening to it it gave me that feeling and I was just like, I can't get rid of it. I love it to bits. So what I've done is I've insured myself back on it. So now I have the Grom, the Ducati, and the R3. However, the Grom, although it's still mine, I will be on it for about one more month and then my insurance runs out on it and it will be insured by my dad because for his birthday, we got him uh, a CBT, so he'll be doing a CBT, and it'll, unless he crashes, like that is his bike, basically. Like he'll pass that note. Like he's he's ridden my bikes before. He's ridden when he was uh, when he was younger, so he'll have no problem. Like he's been driving for years, so he's gonna use the Grom, and then yeah, well that's pretty much it. He'll. Uh, get practice on that and then I reckon he'll get a triumph bobber you know I, I'm trying to persuade him to get one I really am but oh my god like being back on this thing it's so weird I haven't been on a sports bike in well yeah no since I've didn't ride this thing and I'm not sure when the last time I, w I did ride this thing so this is literally my first ride back on it um, the brakes don't feel as good as the Brembo's on the Ducati. The clutch engages so much earlier than the Ducati's. The gears feel so much smoother on this though. Um, steering stabilizer is amazing. I feel so hunched over and so sporty with these Vortex clip ons and everything. Ah, I'm telling you now, I thought the Ducati would get me loving naked bikes and I do I love the torque but there's something about sports bikes I just love I, I tell you I'm, I'm in love this bike is just a little beast that's why she's named Ursula because she is just a little beast man I love this thing to bits and uh, not having a hydraulic clutch as well <laughs> it feels so weird oh and uh, yeah she's loud obviously on how loud she is <laughs> fucking the rear sets are so high oh but I love it absolutely love it and having a fuel and temperature gauge and a gear indicator is so nice to have and heated grips oh man and I want to say a massive thank you to my mate for fucking he filled it up with fuel fucking cleaned it I didn't tell him to do any of that but he did, he's, he's an absolute legend, so big shout out to you. You've seen him in videos before, I won't give you his name. I've probably said his name before, but yeah. Oh, I love this thing, but I'm going to take it steady. We are headed to Cheddar just to meet up with some of the boys. Uh, I won't be riding up and down it, because, like, if you've ever gone, f f like, jumped on a, ran like, a random bike, say, for the first time, Especially jumping from a naked to a sports bike, it feels really weird, like all the handling is completely different because it's a sports bike and because this is so much lighter and stuff, all of it feels so weird. So I'm just trying to get used to it again, so I won't be taking it 
super hardcore. Um, I can't tell you how much I love this bike. Anyways, I'm going to shut up now. I'm just going to ride. I may pop in back now and then. You may see some of the boys. I don't know what's going on. I never know what's going on when I do these videos. We just play it as it goes. But boys, we are back on the R3. Normal videos will be resuming very soon. You know, face camera stuff and whatnot. But yeah, I just had to get out on a sunny day like this. On the R3, man. I had to do it. Had to do it. I appreciate all the love and support. <laughs> Even that little kid loves it. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me. And if you are new, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. <laughs> Let's freaking do this. I love going through the gears. Just downshifting and shit. Ah! Love it! <laughs> One. Two. Like it just handles like a beast. Oh, I'm taking it super duper easy. I'm taking it so easy and hard. Oh, right, yeah, I'm shutting up. <laughs> you can just chart this into corners so much faster than I can on the Ducati. I'm probably faster on this thing than I am on the Ducati, I swear to God. And I'm taking it so easy right now. So easy. I swear, man, people underestimate this bike. It's a lot quicker than people think. If you know how to bloody use it, I don't even know how to use it. it like, it's so nimble. Seriously, it's so good for the UK. Like, people think it's slow. I'm coming off into the catty, man. Which is just. I think. Oh, man. Can't tell you how much I love this one. Skiddish. Huh? I said, who the fuck is that? <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't get rid of it. Go in to get, why is it? There we go. No, that's the first time I've seen this. Is it? Yeah, I've never seen it. That's <laughs> light. No, that's, that's alright. It's so much lighter than my Ducati. Yeah, <laughs> and I can actually flat foot it. <laughs> How are you anyway, yeah? Yeah, not too bad, mate.